Hello everyone, my name is Robin Denton. I'm uh, currently in Greytown in South Africa and I'm about to interview a pastor who, who I've known for about 10 years. Who was, uh, his name is Jeff Unwin. Uh, he was, he's now a semi-retired pastor. Um, he was, uh, once upon a time, a pastor in a Presbyterian church in, uh, on the bluff called uh, St. George's on the Way. Currently, I'm in this home in Greytown, and um, we're going to talk about the subject of uh, <laughs> Christian yoga. But first of all, I'm going to just show you the place where we are at the moment. This, this is a. I actually went to school here. It's actually this is his studio over here, and as you can see, there is a you know there is a cross on the wall here somewhere. Oh yeah, there's there's one. Yeah, there's another one over there somewhere. And, and, and basically, this is a sort of a, every morning about sort of six o'clock, he wakes up and him and his wife uh, do, you know, exercises and he actually has a class of yoga. In fact, he's going to have one tonight. It's overlooking the, um, the beautiful hills of, uh, of, of Greytown. As you can see, it's a bit rainy today. Um, but we're going to actually interview him and ask him about the subject of Christian yoga because, or yoga because um, a lot of people have actually said uh, is this of God and um, is it of the devil? Well, our friend Jeff is going to answer all those questions for you today. Okay, this is Jeff uh, Onion. Okay. And as you can see He's uh, like I'm in a jail. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Here we go. There we go. Okay, he's he's striking a pose for us, and uh, I'm going to bring it a little bit closer so you can actually get to see him a bit easier. And my head's chocolate. All right. Okay. He's not headless. No. That trust me. Okay. <laughs> can you see it or is it? Just yeah, yeah, no, it's fine. So Jeff here, no. I'm going to what you, tell us a, more a little bit about no. Christian yoga and yoga as such. Well, um, I don't call it Christian yoga as such. I, I, I just um, I see myself as a Christian, mm. and I happen to do yoga. Mm. Um, it is like the the mode of exercise that I've chosen to use. I do do other exercises as well. I I cycle. I do some um, other forms of weightlifting and a bit of aerobic exercise as well. Mm -hmm. um, that's just to, you know, to keep myself super fit. But um, I do the yoga at least four or five times a week. Mm -hmm. And I have a class on the Monday, a Wednesday and a Friday. Mm -hmm. um, Monday and Wednesday twice a day and the Friday once. Sorry, uh, could, could, could we change your position yeah. because the light's coming okay. from that yeah, side. So maybe it's not I, I think it's a bit dark for people to see yeah, here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, let, let's try yeah. from this side. I think it's a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. Because then the light's <laughs> coming through. Yeah, now we can see each other. Okay, okay yeah, that's, there we go. <laughs> yeah, now we look like human beings. Yeah. Okay, so t tell us, tell us uh, Jeff, what, what mm. you know, tell us more about this yoga thing because, mm. you know, I myself was yeah. was a Christian fundamental mm. fundamentalist. In fact, yeah. I probably still am. Yeah. But yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know, if you talk to a lot of people in this mm. area, especially Greytown, because yeah. Yeah. Greytown is is a centre of fund Christian fundamentalism yeah. in yeah, South geez. Africa. Geez. You, as a as a pastor, you must get a lot of um, mm. you know sort of. Uh, maybe persecution, maybe bad comments, maybe you know the cold yeah. shoulder. Put it that way. What What would you yeah. say, you know, um, about yeah. your decision to become a yoga teacher? I mean, it's quite a radical yeah. decision to yeah. make, considering yeah. you know that you've had such a long history of um, you know promoting the gospel. Yeah, I, I still believe. You know, I am firstly a Christian before I'm anything else. And I still do uh, reach out to people with Jesus. Mm -hmm. um, it's just that I've now taken the route of doing yoga and using that as my way of 
exercise and connecting with the spirit and um, it just it works for me it's, um, you know I decided at some point that I needed a change in my life and uh, for, for many reasons <clears throat> and it, it seemed like a very good option for me um, as you know the older you get the more physical challenges you have I felt that the older I was, the, the more important it was to look after my health. And I did yoga as a young teenager, so it, it just was natural for me to go back to my roots and um, just just pick up what I'd left at that stage. I see. And uh, tell me something, Jeff. Uh, what kind of comments have you got from the traditional conservative fundamentalist church? Well, actually, you know, I haven't really had much comment from people at all. You know, they, I think they just avoid me. <laughs> like the and, plague. Uh, yeah, they like the plague. And I've had several students being told, you know, don't go to, to my class, don't come to my class, it's because... As a Christian, you shouldn't do yoga. And uh, we've heard people saying things from the pulpit, like, um, don't attend a yoga class. It's bad for you. It's, it's dangerous. Mm -hmm. And um, But sadly, we haven't actually engaged with these people. You know, why, so would you, why do you think they would say something like that, considering the benefits mm -hmm. of yoga in terms of, you know, just purely from the point of view that it's good for the body, anybody of any age can mm -hmm. do it, even people in wheelchairs can do it, how is it going to mm -hmm. affect uh, your faith in Jesus Christ? Mm -hmm. You know, I suppose because it comes from the East, you know, people assume that, and I've heard people say things like, you know, because it comes from the East, it's not good, um, mm -hmm. which is, is a very poor argument because that's assuming that things from the West are, are good. So if we say things from the east are not good, then we're saying, oh, are we saying things from the west are good? So well, we can't, I, I, we can't like make that type of distinction. No, we can't. You know, I like it's, curry it's and rice. It's a generalization. I like curry and rice. I mean, some things from the east are good, you know, yeah. like curry. Yeah, yeah, um, absolutely. You yeah, know, what, yeah. <laughs> well, what, but what about you know things that you say like uh, mm. Namaste and uh, mm. Om? What is that? No, namaste is just a greeting, you know. It's just yeah. I don't know why people are scared of it because it, it's it's like me saying Sawabona. Yeah. Now, should, but, a uh, should a Christian say Sawabona? I but you know, it. when you put your hands together like mm. this, yeah. it means like I I know for uh, mm. it's traditional mm. uh, act of prayer. Yeah. Um, you know, putting mm -hmm. your hands together. Mm. Um, but I do know that Christians in Nepal say Namaste as a form of greeting, like hello, mm, mm. and, and it, it generally, the, the deeper spiritual mm. meaning of it is, yeah. uh, may God bless you. Mm. Uh, mm. It's and, similar and, to that. It, yeah. it literally means, I see God in you. I yeah. see God in you, which, which is acknowledgement of the divinity in all creation. Mm. And, and, and the, the hands together is then sort of bowing to that, acknowledging, I acknowledge God in you. I acknowledge the, the image of God in you. Yeah. I acknowledge well, the spirit of God. In we're you. all made in the image of God, Correct. according to Correct. Genesis. Correct. The second question I have for you is, what about the word yoga? What does it mean? Well, I think... Anybody that reads up about yoga will soon find out that it means union or unity. Mm -hmm. There are many different ways of putting it. Uh, the one of the words that I like to use is the word atonement, mm -hmm. which we use in the church for bringing two separate things together. Mm. Um, Jesus became the atonement for our sin, so he yeah. brings us together. He removes our sin, he brings us together. Mm -hmm. At one mint, you know, the at one mint. Yeah. So it's the two were separate, they become one. Right. And really in yoga, the, the separation between mind and body and soul and spirit, where, you, you know, that's what's the, the problem in the world today is that people are not at one. Yeah. They, they're divided. They are, 
scattered. And right now we have to scatter because okay. we have exactly two seconds.